Tip number 13, we're on now. Don't get caught up with labels. I, do you know what? I've been on looking at the forums, depression forums and anxiety forums. I just wanted to keep an eye out on what people are doing. Majority of the time, people are caught up with, I haven't got the right diagnosis. This and they're coming in front. Of, there's so many like new labels that are coming out all of a sudden. So you've got bipolar, and then there's unipolar. I'm going, ah, what's going on here? The focus should be on. I mean, I spend my time now actually getting rid of labels. I don't want to be labeling people or something because whatever the label is, you are more than that as a person. Yeah. So someone who's depression, they are more than that as a person. You've got to look at the person as a whole, not just a label. So you want to be take I want to be taking the labels away. If someone comes to me and says, um, yeah, I've got depression, I will say, how do you know that? And they'll go, well, because the doctor told me. And I'll say, well, okay. So how did you know how to go to the doctor? Oh, because I felt bad. Okay, where did you feel it? See, now I'm starting to go into a more descriptive uh, way of actually dealing with the problem. I'm trying to break down. Rather than having it up there, I'm going down. I'm getting down to actually how they're feeling, where they're feeling, what pictures they're creating in their head, what words they're saying to themselves. And therefore, I can then have a nice structure of how they are doing their problem. So, but if you get caught up in a label, a label encompasses all of that, then therefore you're gonna be, then you, all of a sudden you're statistic. And people are more than statistics. People are people and every single person has their own unique, the way that I look at it, everyone's got their own unique kind of depression for them specifically. And I'll learn their particular kind before I do anything else with them. So just remember that words are just words and experience is right where it counts here so forget the words just how do you experience it how do you experience the problem please tell me how you do that how you do the structure and it's so much easier to deal with see if you look at I, um, depression as a label then you're saying that you it's an identity that's who you are as a person and that's not who you are as a person i want to take i did the i depression from an identity to a behavior because behaviors are easier to deal with if you think of it as a, a identity a depression as an identity is who someone is as soon as you start saying something about depression then they feel that they're personally being attacked so as soon as I say depression is um, all it is is a strategy they will now thinking that I'm attacking that them as a person and it's not it's not it's a behavior it is a behavior and I want people to move it from an identity into a behavior because then it's not just a word it's a it's, a, it's an action it's a it's a behavior that they're doing something that they are doing and they are in control of once I get to that stage then now I can start changing easily